Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I'm coming up with a new tutorial on modeling, texturing and lighting a reception area in 3ds Max. So I'm creating this tutorial on viewers request. So let's get started. So let's go into file, view image file and open up a reference over here for this. So let's go into this. Let's open up a folder over here. Let's take this as a reference. So this is our reference. We are going to model this. So very first of all, I'll just take a plane over here. I'll take a big area over here. So I'll take, go into AC extended let's take a wall go to the top view over here press s like this so we are just creating this area in this way so this is what uh, walls will look like <coughs> so definitely we'll adjust this part also so I'll just go into this convert to editable poly so select the vertices slightly just shuffle it in this way select this push it till here and increase the area over here so definitely we will resize it later on after that let's go over here and create the window section over here so let's take a swift loop over here. So before that, I'll select this and let's give one connect. Give one connect. again go over here let's give two connects <coughs> all right so i'll again go over here and select this polygons and i can just delete it or if you want i can just go into this select this let's give few of the connects over here you again select this so I can do this I can assign this over here All right. So let's again give connects over here. So you can just select this again. Alright, so select this polygons. Okay, we'll also put one more edge loop over here. 
So select this and let's put one edge loop. So put one connect. Shuffle this up over here. <coughs> so select this polygons over here. So you can create it individually also if required, not a problem. <coughs> so I can just give a bit of inset over here and I can slightly add bevel and click OK. So I'll just give a color over here. Just take a I'll just take a random color. Now definitely will be assigning some kind of a texture over here later on. So before that I'll again go over here. I'll go over here, I'll go to the top view. So let's take a line over here. Let's take a and create a reception area, a reception table. I'm sorry. So go into this, select this spline, and we have option over here that's called outline so I'll slightly just shuffle it a bit inside this area and give a extrude modifier so let's just assign a extrude modifier over here so before that I'll shuffle this more up if needed this is your reception table slightly just shuffle it over here all right so I'll again go to the top view I'll take again a line over here so shuffle this up rendering enabling viewport take it as rectangular increase its length increase its width So again I'll go over here, I can again if needed I can go into this and we have option over here called insert so I can just insert it down. So let's just select this again and make it a bit straighter so slightly I'll just push it till here select the vertices
again you can go into this take a line tool put a line tool over here reduce this select the vertices Alright, so before this I will slightly just shuffle this over here and I can slightly increase its length and then I will duplicate it, reduce its length again take a copy of it we don't need uh, that many copies I can just slightly shuffle it in this way so if you want again I can just take a line tool change the length and width over here Alright, so slightly just shuffle it here as required. Fuse vertices, build vertices, and slightly rotate it. make it a corner alright we will change it later on not a problem so now again select this we can still push it up more up again I will go over here on to the top view I will again take one line over here We will connect this till here. Okay. So of this enable in viewport and give a modifier that's called extrude over here and shift this up over here so before we shift this you can this part select this polygons or you can just select the top vertices
shift this up, exclude this, all right. Now I can shuffle this a bit down over here. Now looks totally perfect. But before that, we'll shift this a bit inside over here. Now looks much better. Alright, so let's save this first. We haven't saved it yet. So guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.